Patriots. What was his reaction when you say you're going to get into this game? Oh, he, he is all in. I will tell you, he sees what's happening. He's concerned for our children and our children's children, and he knows that it's worth um, our country and our state is worth fighting for. And I'll tell you this, it's been interesting. You mentioned the Crimson Tide. I had somebody ask me yesterday, they said, I think this is good. I think we need both political parties from the state represented in, in D.C. And I said, no, I said, Coach Tuberville is a good, you know, conservative Republican. He's fighting for us in D.C. And they said, that's not what I mean. They said, we have a legendary Auburn football coach up there and now we need a, a crimson tide a former former crimson tides wife they said i think i think that would give us good balance well uh it's certainly they love their football and they love alabama uh the university of alabama in alabama linda blanchard who is also a big supporter of president trump says this i wish katie the best of luck as she joins the field it's important to note that i remain as the only political outsider currently in the race <laughs> alabama desperately needs a senator who doesn't owe anyone anything and can shake up the status quo i guess she's referring to the fact that you were chief of staff for a veteran uh, experienced one like Senator Shelby, does she consider you part, I guess, of the swamp? Oh, well, let me tell you, I am certainly not a career politician, as you can tell. Um, and being Senator Shelby's chief of staff gave me an opportunity to see the challenges and opportunities across our state and also be effective and know how to really get things done and advance the conservative agenda in Washington. How would you be better than Mo Brooks, who clearly has the president on his side, former president on well, his side? <laughs> I am going to work every day to advance our Christian conservative values. We're going to fight to secure our border. We're going to fight to make sure that we hold China accountable. Um, President Trump did so many great things in his America First agenda. And I'm going to make sure that every Alabamian across the state knows um, who I am, and I'm going to work hard to earn their vote. Last question. Doug Jones, he took a divided Republican Party as a Democrat, actually won that seat before. Does that worry you that you guys could be dividing uh, the Republican Party and making it vulnerable to a Democratic candidate? No, I think that the dialogue that will occur will only make our party stronger. The Republican Party is going to take back the House, we're going to take back the Senate, and then we're going to take back the presidency in 2024. All right, Katie Britt, now's your time uh, to see if you can win that primary and go out and get that Senate seat your first time out. Uh, Katie Britt, thanks so much. Hey, thank you. I appreciate you having me. All right.